Oof, God damn it. So I think we all know what day is approaching. Or actually, when you're watching this, holy shit, wait a minute. So if you're watching this video the day I upload, it is Valentine's Day. Boo! Boo! <laughs> it is my least favorite holiday of them all because I hate it. Because I don't have anyone to spend it with. So it's my 21st year Valentine list. And a lot of you are in the same boat as me. And if you're not and you're in a relationship, click off this video. This isn't fucking for you. So I decided to help my fellow single people and show how to spend a beautiful day alone on Valentine's Day because it, it's not all about the couples, like, chill. I complain and say I want it so bad, like I want a boyfriend, but I will literally do nothing to help the situation. Like a guy messaged me on Tinder and I just like ignored him. Why am I doing this? I have to talk to my therapist about that. Oh wait, she died. So I'm gonna go on a cute little excursion day around Manhattan and just have a day to myself. Get myself something nice, maybe go to lunch, maybe slay. Why do I have to be punished as a person that is not with someone? Like, to just sit back on the sidelines and be like, okay, like couples, it's your day. Fuck that, absolutely not. I will be having a day and it's gonna be gorge, and hopefully this gives you some inspiration to go out after this video and have your own Valentine's Day day alone. I'm filming this on the 12th. I think today is the 12th. It's Friday, February 11th, 2022. Ooh, whoa, hearing that year for some reason, that's like so weird. Okay, so it's, f I literally forgot. I literally forgot. She just said it and I forgot. It's Friday, February 11th, 2022. That was louder than last time she got mad. It's Friday, February 11th. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. My short term memory, Friday, February 11th, right? I have to check. Like, so I'm filming this on Friday. I upload on Mondays, so it's Valentine's Day. Grab your bag, grab your cute outfit. I'm wearing this Adidas like pullover thing and these brown flowy corduroy pants, cute. And I'm gonna wear my maroon jacket with it. So it's like colorful vibes. What scares me about this weather is that it's warm. Like it is fully warm. Like I could fully go like without this jacket even. And it's just really concerning. I just know they're staring. Um, and it's just really concerning because it is February, like the coldest month usually and it's like it's concerning but you know global warming isn't real climate change isn't real i just had the best chocolate croissant i think i've ever had in my entire life it was so good to the point where like I had to tap the person that was sitting next to me and be like, this is so good. And she's like, I know, I just had it. <laughs> but like, holy shit. What a fun day. Okay, not to flex, but I just had a gorgeous, lovely date day with myself. I went to this restaurant called The Grey Dog. It's in Nolita. And I got the, these fish tacos. Whoa, were those so delicious and like unexpected. It's so nice just to like sit alone by yourself and not have like that anxiety of, are people looking at me? Like who gives a fuck? I got this number. This is a cropped turtleneck from Ivy Park. And I'm gonna wear this tomorrow to my friend's Valentine's Day party, super cute. And then I thought, what could I do to close my Valentine's Day date to myself? Like, what could I do to make it just like a little bit extra um, slay? Baking a delicious cake. 
for myself. At what point does this turn into like something sad and not like something cute to do? Like, let's not think about it. Okay, heat oven to 350 for shiny metal or glass pan. Start. Wait, ready? One hand crack. Not me being a baker. There are just so many shells in there. Okay. Oh. I guess this cake is going to be a little crunchy. Give it some texture. Okay, half a cup of this shit. Okay, so I don't have a whisk. <laughs> Give me a second. Note to self, have a fucking whisk when you want to, you know, bake. Looks like blood. Okay, wait, does it look like I'm throwing up? <laughs> Um, anyway. Fucker. Okay, I've seen a lot of bakers like tap their dish to get like the air bubbles out, so I'm gonna do the same. Whoa, it actually worked. Now let's throw her in the other. 35 minutes? Ugh. Okay, and while that's cooking, I like this, but I also hate this. I do love Valentine's Day. I do think it's a cute holiday. If you're in a relationship, that's when it's fun. But like, I wouldn't know ever. I wouldn't know that. So maybe I hate it. <laughs> I hate fuckers who decide to get engaged on Valentine's Day. It's just a little too cliche for me where it's like, okay, you have 365 days to choose. Like why? Why would it be on like the Hallmark holiday of love? Like make it special. Our anniversary is on Valentine's Day. Yeah, and now you share that with probably like 50 million other fuckers who decide to get like engaged on Valentine's Day. What's worse is getting married on Valentine's Day. Like, whoa, get over it. People who do that like really need to figure it out. It's like, no. I love the idea of getting your significant other like little chocolates. It's like so cute, like a little bear with like a little chocolate like here, a little token of appreciation. Like, I think that's so cute. I hate people who go overboard. Ugh, he only got me an Hermes Birkin. Girl, shut up. I hate people who expect like, way too much from their uh, like partner on Valentine's. It's like, it's not your birthday. It's not your anniversary. It's literally just like a holiday. So businesses can make money basically. So I think there's other ways that your partner can prove the love rather than like showing on a Valentine's day, you know? Do something cute, but like, it's not the end all be all of love, you know? When you guys were in like elementary school, would any kids in your grade get valentine's day gifts from their parents like a christmas gift or a birthday gift like you get valentine's day gifts i had someone tell me that and i was like are you lying you're, you're joking right he was like my parents got me a new game and like a couple diary of a wimpy kid books and i'm like in what world do kids get gifts for valentine's day is that like is that a thing i don't think it's a thing please just tell me it's not a thing I love romantic comedies, especially the ones that are like so bad that they're good. I watched one the other day where like literally, like the amount of shit that happened to this girl, like I am so surprised she didn't like take her own life. <laughs> like she met this guy and oh my God, all of a sudden all of her problems just magically evaporated and she was in love. So why couldn't that happen to me? immediately turn it into like something about myself but some of these like rom-coms are so cliche it's like so cringy but like you're just like captivated by it and you like have to watch i wonder what i would be like in a rom-com you know after losing his job steven is more lost than ever especially in a new and big city. I don't know, ever since I lost my job, I'm feeling like so lost, especially in this new and big city. But a brief encounter with a peculiar stranger. I'm like, hi, what's your name? Shut up, bitch. Is setting Steven up for a brand new story. No, you don't understand. He was perfect. The chemistry we had, insane this Valentine's Day. Join Stephen Mariah 
and um, Stephen Maria on a journey of love Hello. and tragedy. You what? Slay, slay, slay. It's Valentine's Day. Are you fucking dumb? Look at this shit. Like, does that not look gas? I'm gonna frost it and then we'll eat it, but I gotta wait for it to cool off, so. Okay, so I got some rich and creamy cream cheese frosting and I'm just gonna wing it and just pour it all on. Oh no. Oh. Oh, it's like completely raw. Wait, what? That is raw. Okay. What's just so embarrassing is that this was literally cooling for 30 minutes and it was just completely not cooked the entire time. So I guess I'll um, um, cry. Shut up, I get it. Okay, take two. It's still raw, what the fuck is going on? Okay, so I'm gonna scream. If this isn't ready by now. Fucking finally. It's finally cooked through, so now it has to rest for another half an hour. Okay, so this is done. I'm just deciding it. It looks fucked, but I did the best I could. Um, I know what I'll do. I'll save it for tomorrow and bring it to my friend's party. So, Steven from tomorrow, is the cake good? It's gas! Well, there you go. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some inspiration on how to spend your Valentine's Day alone if you don't have a partner or significant other. Go out, take yourself out to dinner, bake yourself a cake, buy yourself something nice. Why not? Do it. Yeah, I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and lovely, and I'll see you guys next week. Mwah. Bye.